the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on in this. So Capricorn, in the recent past, we got this Queen of Pentacles and it's paired with Seven of Cups. Now the Queen of Pentacles is showing that you probably spent a lot of time, maybe money and energy on your home. You need to be more comfortable. Now, this would have been a good thing, provided you didn't take on too much debt. People, people could have been looking to you for insight and maybe some advice. You would have been able to help them if you decided to do so. This would have been a time period when you got a whole lot accomplished. Queen of Pentacles, like I said, it's paired with the Seven of Cups. Now, Seven of Cups is about choices. It's, it indicates confusion. It can even point to disorganization, having too much going on. So it would have been about needing to narrow your focus. You're, you're probably trying to do too much when you get the Seven of Cups. And doing most of it not really well. So it's about choosing just a few of the important things that are on your plate. And working through them one by one carefully. You probably start to feel overwhelmed when you get the Seven of Cups. Just remember though, you can control at least in some areas how much you're trying to take on. So what I'm getting for a lot of you Capricorns in the recent past, it looks like uh, you got a lot of options. Maybe a lot of um, love interests, or you could have been dealing with someone who had a lot of options. Um, they kept the door open, so it wasn't just about you and them. It was about you and them and all their other choices. And it caused, it probably caused um, a problem for the connection or the relationship. And it looks like you just want comfort. So you kind of took to yourself. Yeah, because if you look at the picture of the Queen of Pentacles, it looks like this lady. Queen of Pentacles is a card above the word pass. It looks like she's sitting in her backyard in a lounge chair. Her dog is sleeping on her toes. Her feet just keeping her, her warm. And she's holding on to her money, her pinnacles, and she's feeding the squirrels and the birds, any type of that, all the animals that come by and visit her. So it's just about really wanting comfort and peace and just realizing that um, you're more into um, sensibility, being more sensible than dealing with a bunch of options or someone that has a lot of options. So yeah, you just kind of looks like you kind of took to yourself, and maybe you just kind of um, swept this person off that had all the options, or like I said, maybe you had uh, so many options and you decided to um, just take to yourself and alleviate so many options. So that's the recent past, but let's get off of the past because I know a lot of you don't want to hear about the past. You want to see what what we got coming up. So for the rest of September, like I said, this is a bonus reading for September 2020. Um, for the present time, for the September, we got Judgment and we have Two of Cups. Now, Judgment, it can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions and judgments that are made too fast or swift or too hastily. So if you know you're prone to doing something like this, it would be a sign to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This could also be a time of spiritual awakening. So judgment is with the Two of Cups. Two of Cups is beautiful. It refers to romantic partnership, but that's not his only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. And this is a card that says, that things are likely to be going really well and you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So Capricorn, a lot of you, you got a great love coming in. Now with this Two of Cups, it's the ideal partner. It's a harmony, it's a union, it's a deep connection. 
Yeah, it could bring about a, um, a balanced partnership, true love, commitment, all the things that most of us hope for when it comes to love relationships. So you got something great coming in. And I know what a lot of you are saying, oh, that's a bunch of baloney. <laughs> love doesn't come your way, especially not like that, right? Well, okay, I get it. I understand what some of you are saying. If you feel like that's not for you, that's not your story, it could be uh, some type of great opportunity that's coming in for you. Or maybe it's a friend or a family member that um, you will have a better relationship with and it will feel like a, a harmony, a union coming together. But for most of you Capricorns, it's a great love that's coming in. Could be a soulmate. Two of Cups is absolutely beautiful. Now, what's interesting is that it's paired with judgment. So you might be very judgmental of this person that's coming in. And if it's dealing with some if you're already dealing with someone and you know that this is a great union, you might want to be careful about being really judgmental or jumping to conclusions because it can cause a make or break period yeah it'll cause a make or break period in the relationship so yeah make sure you get very clear about what you want out of life out of your relationships and then take steps to make it work because this is a great great connection here like i said it's the ideal partner it's a union coming together so something beautiful is coming in for you capricorns like i said if you're already dealing with this person it could become committed it could be it could go to the next level marriage proposal living in together um but there's a problem just judgment uh judgment you, you might just uh, you might just start to um, just be less forgiving. That's what uh, judgment is about. Not offering forgiveness. Um, just jumping to a lot of conclusions and being really judgmental. So you could actually, a lot of you are going to miss out on this because if it's a new person, you could uh, judge them the wrong way, or just just too fast, or just too harsh. Uh, you might not like the way they wear their hair, but you could have great chemistry with someone that you're meeting or someone that you just met. This could be the ideal. This could be the two of cups that I'm referring to, or that's showing up in your reading. But you might not like the way they wear their hair, or you might not like the sound of their voice something you're gonna just pass really fast harsh judgment on this person and it's going to be the one that's for you so take this as a warning don't be too judgmental towards people that you meet coming up this september because this person could actually be the one for you the one that's meant for you so that's what we got for the present time let's find out what the challenge is now we got temperance and we got two of swords. Temperance is about things going pretty well. You may need to look at any deeper personal issues and see if they're standing in your way. And if they are, figure out how to work through them and integrate them because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships, also with your goals and aspirations. Temperance is paired with Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords, it tells us that your partnerships, they're probably going somewhat well, whether it's friendship, romantic, or business. But you might need to consider the depths of your commitment to equality in these and whether or not you're being treated as an equal by your partner. And if you're not, it could be time to bring things back into balance. But this requires communication. Now, challenge, temperance, and two of swords. Wow. I'm showing that even though you've got this great love that's coming in, or you're dealing with someone that's the ideal partner, 
With this two of swords here, you might just, it looks like you might decide to avoid and block this person or this connection. You might just decide to close your eyes to it. Yeah, so Capricorns, I'm picking up, this reading is for a lot of Capricorns that just just not ready. That's not ready for a great love or not ready for love. In your life at this time yeah this reading is it's it's looking like yeah because it got temperance here you're just wanting balance and a peace of mind and you avoid and you block and then you pass harsh judgment on this great love or great opportunity that's coming in and I'm picking up it's because you dealt with someone in the recent past that you probably had a lot of feelings for but they kept their options open so it probably didn't make you feel really good and it left maybe a bitter taste in your mouth so now like I said you got some great love coming in the ideal partner um, something that could go to marriage proposal but you're gonna be really judgmental jumping to a lot of conclusions it's gonna cause a make or break in the connection then you're going to start to avoid and block this person. And you're just wanting balance and peace of mind. That's what temperance is all about. Yeah, so you're kind of like into yourself. A lot of Capricorn, you're just into yourself for September. Yeah, you could be taking a look at what you feel guilty about. Any past mistakes you feel you made. And maybe you're trying to forgive yourself and let let it go. So you're working on yourself. A lot of Capricorns, that's what you're doing. But you got a great love coming in and it looks like you could actually miss out on it. So let's see what the outcome is. We got a strength card. And it's with the Eight of Cups. Now the strength card, it's about taking time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you got a lot of kids. Um, it's important not to allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear because the outward things will be going okay, but what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So it's about conquering any fears, controlling your impulses, and never losing patience with yourself or what you're doing. Now, strength is paired with the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is showing that you choose to leave a situation that's no longer working. Whether it's a relationship, a job, it could be a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved, but this separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. And if your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of just coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, the Eight of Cups, it usually means that you're the one who will make this choice. Very often when one door closes behind you, it has to do that before the next door in front of you can fully open. So the outcome, Strength card and Eight of Cups. Okay, so this ideal partner, like I said, you're not ready for it. You're still trying to um, clear your mind, maybe get rid of some baggage from the recent past. So you got the Eight of Cups for the outcome. It looks like you, you just walk away. Or this person that that's, um, you're dealing with, this Two of Cups, they could be the one actually walking away. And they see that um, you're looking to work on yourself because you got the strength card. Strength card is all about empowerment, um, self-love, unconditional love, self-respect, um, just being stronger, um, taking time to meditate, contemplate. So. For most of you Capricorns, it's you that's closing the door on this this great love. You can't even you cannot even see the light in it. You can't see the beauty of it. Because you're working on yourself 
and you're working on some getting rid of some baggage from the past and you're trying to find balance in your life so for some of you this person this great love is walking away but for most of you you're the one who's walking away you're not letting anyone in you're taking to yourself and you're becoming stronger yeah so it's all about self-love for you for the month of September Capricorns yeah you're trying to find balance and peace of mind and it looks like you're not able to really let anyone in not at this time maybe September what's after September October October maybe you open the door but for right now it looks like this person that had a lot of options probably took you through the ringer and it looks like you took to comfort by being at home a lot and just take it to yourself yeah because you got a lot of self all about me 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 in this reading self-love self-respect with the strength card temperance is about finding peace of mind um, Queen of Pentacles is about just wanting comfort and peace of mind staying at home so yeah your door is not open it's not open but yeah you got a great something coming in that is not a great love for most of you it is it looks like you could miss out on it you could be a soulmate with this two of cups so Capricorn that's the reading that I have for you for September I hope you enjoyed it I hope this resonated as you know general readings they do not always resonate with everyone and again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe and strong during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It will pass and we'll all get through this. Please come back and check out the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. So Capricorns, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.